Tell me the pros or cons of teaching English in Japan. Okay, so pros. English teachers tend to have a bad reputation. I've heard of it. Yes, <laughs> because. Hey guys, hi there. I'm Takashi from Japan. So today I'm going to interview English teachers in Japan. So I interviewed someone who is working in a public school, a k a w a school, someone who has their own English teaching company as well. Okay, let's get started. Okay, thank you for your time. Where are you from? I'm from Michigan in the US. I've been in Japan for just about nine years. And you teach English, right?、Uh, I used to teach English. Currently, I'm still a teacher, but I teach at an international school teaching、uh, music. How did you find an English teaching job in Japan first, like nine years ago?、Um, I actually was teaching English in China at the time. I taught there for three years also. And、um, I heard about the school I first taught at here in Japan through my sister. She was also teaching at that school. I was able to visit her、um, and see what her school was like and、uh, decided I wanted to move to Japan. Yeah, it was through my sister that I found out about my school. Okay. I've heard many stories from my friends, like, you know, finding English teaching jobs through mutual friends or fr- friends who already work in the company. And is it true? Is it common in Japan for foreigners? Like, Yeah. Mm, kind of true. Or at least there's a few, few main websites that people、mm. use to find English teaching jobs, except people from anywhere in the world,、um, and you don't need, need a connection necessarily. But、uh, a lot of people do find jobs through friends or you know, relatives. That is a pretty common thing from what I hear. The one that I always use, which was called gaijinpot.com, that one seemed to have pretty good options, and I think most of the companies are legitimate. I found jobs through Gaijin Pot. My second job、oh. in, in Tokyo,、uh, no, sorry, my first, first job in Tokyo, second job in Japan was found through Gaijin Pot. Yeah, the, the job was fine. It was a legitimate company and everything. So a lot of the time people do have those kinds of you know, worries, but with the more like, established websites, the well known ones, you should be pretty much fine. What do you think is the pros or cons of teaching English in Japan? Specifically, just because it's Japan. Yeah, you have any?、Mm-hmm. Big pro would be that you get to enter Japan. You know, you're supplied with a visa and you can come to Japan. That's a big draw for a lot of people. You know, you're in the country, you can explore, you can learn the language, you can do so many things. Con of teaching English in Japan is that English teachers tend to have a bad reputation. I've heard of it. Yes, <laughs> because so many English teachers use that as just a way to get in Japan and then have fun. Easiest way to come to Japan? Is it true? I think it's the easiest way, yeah.、Okay. A lot of teachers will come to Japan. They don't take their job seriously. They don't value the students that are teaching. They don't value their school. They just do the bare necessities, the bare minimum to you know, fulfill their requirements at,、mm-hmm. at work. And then they just like, go wild on the weekends. <laughs>、mm-hmm. And like, what you want to do in your free time is, is that that's yours, your, your, your thing.、Right. But、um, they tend to be the kind of foreigner that is loud. That is like disruptive in public. They tend to do all these things that kind of get looked down on by Japanese people.、Mm. And that reflects on the rest of us, like all foreigners, not even just English teachers,、mm. but all foreigners in general. Because I think a lot of Japanese people assume that if you're a foreigner in Japan, you're an English teacher. Another might be that、um, it is a bit more difficult, I think, to learn Japanese because at your work, A lot of schools are like this. Not all schools are the same, but my school, you could not speak Japanese、yeah. with the students. Because、yeah, you're teaching English. Right, you're teaching them English. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It makes sense.、Yeah. Because you're not able to speak Japanese、um, and you have to tell the students, you know, stop speaking Japanese in the、mm-hmm. classroom,、mm-hmm. it becomes like an English environment, which is good for the kids, but then you aren't provided with opportunities to learn. And that's fine. Like, you can take the time outside of your work to, to learn Japanese, but when you're at work, Almost 24 7, which is a lot of schools, unfortunately. They, they really work you hard. It feels like your whole life is just English, English, English. And so you don't get the chances, even outside of work, to like, enroll in a class, you know, make Japanese friends who can practice the language with you. I would come home from work and just be ex- so exhausted, I wouldn't want to do anything. I wouldn't want to enroll in a class. I wouldn't want to go out and explore because I was just so exhausted. And so my Japanese level was pretty basic for a lot of my time in Japan those first few years. And so I would say that's a, another con that people don't really think about. You get excited to come to Japan and you think, oh, I'm going to learn the language so quickly and be fluent and you know, interact with Japanese people, make friends, be able to watch anime with no subtitles. Um, but it doesn't happen because it's just really difficult to learn language. Even, you know, I have lots of friends who go to 
uh, language school yeah. studying Japanese, but they don't speak Japanese yet.、Mm. So, if you're an English teacher in Japan and you don't speak Japanese, you know, like during the weekdays, you know,、yeah. 95. Five, like, yeah, yeah,、exactly. make, it's more definitely more difficult, yeah. Yeah,、uh, and yeah, I, I kind of wish I had been able to come to Japan as a student. As a student, yeah, that's what so many foreigners do. They come as a language student and they learn like a decent amount of language、yeah. before they move on to work in Japan,、right. or maybe they do both. They, they're students and work part time or something like that. But a lot of people don't have that. Opportunity, they just come、mm. straight to teach English. Five, six, seven, eight, nine years down the line, you're still struggling to like <laughs> hold basic conversations、oh. with people.、Uh, can we talk about salary if you don't mind? <laughs> it's okay.、Mm-hmm. Like, is it, is it good money just in general teaching English in Japan? Is it good money or?、Um, I think as a first year teacher, the money is not great. <laughs>、um, I think it again, it's a It really depends on、right. where you're at, what qualifications you have going into、okay. a job. A lot of schools require a bachelor's degree.、Um, that's like the, the most basic you know, qualification. That's going to get you a, most, like a very basic salary as an English teacher in Japan. Working in a Japanese public school teaching English five days a week, like how much do you get?、Um, 210,000 or Uh, to 230,000 yen a month. That's, that's, that's pretty much like average salary,、yeah. just in general in Japan. Just in general,、okay. right. Last question do, do you speak Japanese? Choto. 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 Choto.、Mm. Like, how did you learn? Like, can you answer in Japanese?、Um, beginner class. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sendai ni, when I was in Sendai.、Um, Very, very big. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it in time. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you for your time. Where from? Italy, Rome. How long have you been in Japan? Well, like total three years, but I worked here for two and a half years. You teach English, right? Yes, I'm an English teacher. In Japan, I was working for an A Kaiwa. So, like. Can you explain what A Kaiwa is? All right. It's like a school where Japanese people can, can learn English through conversation. So, it's mainly conversation. So, you have to be very open. And friendly. So, in my A Kaiwa, we only had adults. We didn't have children so, in my A Kaiwa.、So、Japanese adults who want to improve their English, they pay A Kaiwa, and then that's kind of school, is it? Yeah, I had, I had both like private lessons, like one on one, always with adults,、mm. and group lessons, but like small groups so that you can still have conversation. But like small groups, like four, five, six people max, and it's always like extra. So, usually, people who were who wanted to improve to go on a vacation or for their job, exactly.、Yeah. As a non native English teacher, because I'm Italian, it was very it was a little hard for me to get a job, even though I have a BA and an MA. Oh, because you're not native English exactly, speaker, exactly. And like that was a little bit like disappointing because sometimes I feel like if you're a native, it doesn't mean that you're a good teacher. But I'm a good teacher, even though I'm not a native. And it was very hard for me to get a work visa when I was in Italy. So I had to get a student visa first. And then I was able to find a job. So that was a little bit tiring, but I did it. The money, you said, like, how's the salary? I couldn't complain. I wasn't rich. If you're just doing that for an AKI, well, you're not getting rich. Like, hey, but you can definitely get by and, like, I could travel, et cetera. Tell me the pros and cons of teaching English in Japan. Okay. So, pros. Definitely, you get to live in Japan, so it's pretty cool. Also, if you teach an A Kaiwa, so you teach adults and you talk a lot, like they have to talk with you for like one or two hours a week, you get to know the Japanese culture a lot. Because at an A Kaiwa, as a teacher, you shouldn't be the one who speaks. The, teach, the students should speak. So they tell you about their lives, their past, their, like, the things they like. So you really. Get close to your students. Also, your students will give you like some random presents like fruit. At first, I was so like surprised when it was like my birthday and they were like, hey, here are two peaches. Here are three apples. Maybe because it's you. Oh, maybe. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, they're nice. They're、okay. nice. They're also adults. Nice. So that means like you get access to talk to local people、yes. while you're getting paid. So that's pros. Cons, well, as I said, if you work for a Japanese company, sometimes it can be a lot, a lot, working hours, also like not having time off.、Um, I had 10 days a year, which is not normal in Italy. 10, and, and, and sometimes I wasn't able to take off all the 10 days, so I could only get like eight. 
and I'd go to work when I wasn't feeling good because I didn't want them to like deduct my days off. What's it like learning Japanese while you teaching English in Japan? Difficult. When your friends know that you're an English teacher, Japanese friends, uh, sometimes, you know, when you're trying to learn and communication is hard, you switch to English. Like, you start in Japanese, like, hey, what did you do today? What did you eat? And then when you want to go deep, it's like, yeah, let's switch to English, because they all, all of my friends can speak English. So I'd say it's a little bit difficult. So, in, in the Eikaiwa, you only speak English. So you speak Japanese? Ma. That's my question. Eh, yatte mita in desu kedo. わからなかったら英語で話しましょう。え、ごはなせない日本人の友達はいますか。え、うん。言います。うん。じゃあ、その人と話すときは全部に日本語。全部日本語。ユータさん、ありがとう。ユータ先生、ありがとう。誰私の
So I began the process of creating a community. Um, and my original thing was just to help people, but then eventually it ended up helping me with my transition out of my job. During the transition, I did 40, 40 hours at work, and then I also did 20 to 30 hours of my own business so I could build up the, the company. So when I left, I actually uh, transitioned nicely. So you already had like your foundation already? I, yeah, I tried to build the foundation before leaving. Because I have a family, I want to be as secure as possible. So yeah. At first, you were a teacher in international school, right? Mm. How did you get a job? In England first? Or you came to Japan and you find a job? or like? A... So I, I did teach some people in England English, but that was a very individual case by case, uh, one on one. But then when I came to Japan, I searched a lot and I tried a, uh, one other job beforehand and then I moved to a full time job. Online, I just searched any kind of job search engine, but the key one was Gaijin Pop. Gaijin Pop. Yeah. I've heard of it, but like, it's, it's quite popular. For foreign uh, people who come to Japan, I think it's quite popular because obviously it's completely in English. So I think it helps a lot of people. Otherwise, there's some difficulties, I think. Okay. Yeah. Teaching English, does it help to learn Japanese for you? It's a great question. So, <laughs> what do you, think? you know, I'm, and maybe I have a slightly more unique situation than most foreigners that come here, but I have a family, I have two kids, and I'm an English teacher. And my English, te English teaching is my business, not anyone else's. So I have to prepare myself and make sure I get enough clients, you know. So I'm using English a lot, especially on social media. Then at home, for my kids, I'm speaking in English all the time, you know. I want them to become as bilingual as possible. So, Is, is your wife? My wife is Japanese and they go to Japanese schools. Okay. So they're speaking Japanese, the only chance is at home. So for me, it's like 24 seven English, but I still, those core things that I believe in where you need to be putting in some effort each day, even if it's 10 minutes, I apply that to myself as well in Japanese. So I think it's important to do. Thank you so much. No worries, thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you for watching so far. How was it? That was interesting. I hope this video will help you if you are planning to come into Japan as an English teacher. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, click the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you want me to make video about specific occupation in Japan, like this video, please leave a comment too. See you next time.